In the space of science and enormous advancements in knowledge, the subject of what existed early on to the tremendous effect has mixed discussions and fascinated characters for a surprisingly long time. This colossal demand doesn't simply test how we could unravel the universe. It challenges the authentic farthest goals of human information. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, inspecting the colossal shadowing, and considering what lay there before our universe was envisioned. The occasion of the Big Bang marked the start of history, space, and what we know. In any case, there was a moment sooner, ahead of time, this might have ultimately been a state of nothingness, a quiet before the lofty gathering began. And if this is true, was it, or maybe there was something altogether more disturbing that existed before time itself? As we jump further into this inquiry, Science takes U.S. on an excursion past the universe's early phase into contemplations that challenge our care. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his commitment to the miracles of the universe, suggests that something stunning could have existed before the Big Bang. He moves us to reevaluate our understanding of the world and existence. In this assessment, we'll explore the science, the hypothesis, and the surprising insider facts that could shed light on what existed prior to everything. We'll investigate examinations like genuine improvement, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The real activities we've covered may very well shock you, yet they could also open new understandings of our situation in the universe. Prepare to jump deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dark still winds around the shadows, leaving researchers stunned and, in some cases, even perplexed. We should examine what existed before the Big Bang and why these hypotheses challenge everything we anticipated. To appreciate what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to look at what the Big Bang actually was. The Big Bang, as science describes it, refers to the event when the universe became phenomenally hot and dense, rapidly growing to set off the development of all matter, energy, and limitless forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see evidence of this hot beginning, with systems fanning out from a starting point. But why did this happen? Or was there a period before this thick, hot beginning? As shown by the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a prior state, and it was far from void or calm. Cosmic inflation suggests that, before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and free, essentially like an awe-inspiring vacuum. However, the vacuum wasn't completely empty. It contained a tremendous sum of energy that controlled the fast expansion of space itself. This development, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it essentially set the foundation for everything that would follow in a piece of progressing space. It extended at unfathomable rates until the expansion slowed and the energy transformed into matter particles and the forces we know today. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it, from nowhere, cultivate the universe, and why did it stop? Researchers believe that this infinite expansion created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric extending infinitely, with tiny air bubbles forming. Each bubble represents a universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes that there are potentially countless Big Bangs and numerous universes. Our own is just one of many. This gigantic, mind-bending reality challenges how we could interpret the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The concept of nothingness before the Big Bang is hypothetical, not real. However, according to our current understanding, even if you were to eliminate all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly empty. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and various forces that form a certain woven masterpiece of something. Even in its most empty form, whether or not we creatively strip away these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still generate new types of energy. This, in itself, is perplexing to researchers, as it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible within our vast understanding. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a region with literally nothing in it, no particles, no radiation, and no negative energy, 
except for quantum fields and massive constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For example, there's an idea called zero-point energy, which represents the most fundamental energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still appear and dissipate, creating a faint echo of progress even in what should be empty space. This challenges our idea of a real void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something. Investigators are still valuing this as possibly one of the most shocking hypotheses in current cosmology, the possibility of undying development. If inflation could create our universe, it's conceivable it could go on ceaselessly. Brian Cox describes an enormous inflationary multiverse, where universes are created and expanded. Imagine each Big Bang as a flash lighting another universe with inflation occurring in various regions, creating countless other universes. This process could, in theory, continue forever. This concept of giant universes creating others leads to an enchanting thought of a fractal universe, where each new universe may indeed create its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as an alternate free space, unaffected by the others. Given the rapid development of space for scientists, this theory is both exhilarating and disturbing, as it suggests an eternal multiverse with no clear beginning or end. Imagine our universe being only a small part of a massive, infinite arrangement, continually creating and always making new universes. What if that is the true essence of reality? There is no before or after, but instead, an undying cycle of universes forming. How we interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't just a blend of matter drifting in space. Perhaps it's a complex association of energy fields that fill the universe, collaborating to make everything we observe. These fields are like elusive oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their least energy level, known as the vacuum state, they're still dynamic. Particles can appear and dissipate in these fields rapidly, gaining energy before releasing it again. This phenomenon leads to virtual particles, substances that immediately exist and then vanish, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The idea of virtual particles challenges the reality of a true void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are eliminated. Would you, in fact, have nothing? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain dynamic, occasionally creating transient particles. This constant evolution in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't adhere to our idea of emptiness. The fields and forces persist, filling the universe with private energy that prevents total nothingness. This grasp raises an intrigue. This theory of cyclic cosmology proposes that the universe undergoes endless cycles of creation and destruction. Each cycle would involve a Big Bang, followed by the expansion of the universe, eventually leading to a collapse and then a rebirth in another Big Bang. This cyclical nature challenges our understanding of time and existence, as it suggests that the universe may not have a singular beginning, but instead could be part of a perpetual series of cosmic events. If this theory holds, it would mean that the universe has gone through an infinite number of cycles before the one we currently experience. Each universe could, in essence, be a reincarnation of a previous one, carrying forward the remnants of the previous cycle's matter, energy, and even the fundamental forces that govern them. The concept of cosmic recycling would suggest that the universe itself is not a one-time phenomenon, but rather part of an ongoing cosmic dance of birth death, and rebirth. The idea of cyclic cosmology also opens up fascinating possibilities about the fate of our universe. If the cycle continues indefinitely, could our universe eventually collapse in on itself, only to be reborn in another Big Bang? This theory, known as the Big Crunch, proposes that after the universe expands to its furthest extent, the gravitational pull of all the matter in the universe will eventually slow down and reverse the expansion, causing everything to collapse back into a singularity. From this singularity, 
another Big Bang could occur, starting a new cycle of expansion and creation. Alternatively, other variations of cyclic cosmology suggest that the universe might not collapse into a singularity, but instead undergo a more gradual big bounce. In this scenario, the universe would reach a point where its expansion slows and then reverses, but instead of collapsing into a singularity, it would bounce back into a new expansion phase, starting the cycle again. This big bounce would create a continuous cycle of cosmic creation and destruction with no definitive beginning or end, further complicating our understanding of time, space, and the nature of the universe itself. As scientists continue to investigate the true nature of the universe and its origins, these theories, whether they involve multiverses, quantum fields, dark energy, or cyclic cosmology, push the boundaries of what we know and what we can comprehend. The question of what existed before the Big Bang and what may lie beyond our universe is one that challenges the core of our understanding. It forces us to consider the possibility that the universe is far more complex, mysterious, and interconnected than we ever imagined. In the end, the pursuit of answers to these questions may not only reveal the nature of the cosmos, but also our place within it. The exploration of these profound ideas will continue to shape our understanding of reality, existence, and the very fabric of the universe. As we peel back the layers of cosmic mystery, we may come to realize that the true nature of the universe is far more extraordinary and elusive than we could ever have dreamed. The search for answers, however, is a journey that will continue to inspire wonder and awe for generations to come. What's more, extension in a cyclic example would intend that there was rarely a valid starting, but instead a timeless series of universes arising, making and restoring themselves again and again. Cyclic cosmology brings up significant issues. No time like the present, as it proposes that time itself could rehash rather than continue. In the event that this hypothesis is right, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was just one more type of the universe, one that fell exclusively to bring forth our ongoing universe. For researchers, this hypothesis offers a rich reply to the subject of outrageous starting points, suggesting that there is no reasonable starting. The universe has consistently existed in some structure, rising above our considerations of time and presence. Gravitational waves are another intriguing thought that could shed light on what existed before the enormous bang. These waves, found in 2015, are enlargements in space-time brought about by unimaginably huge items like black holes or impacting neutron stars. These waves can travel significant distances, conveying data about the occasions that made them. Could gravitational waves give data about the introduction of the universe? A couple of physicists propose that gravitational waves coming from the time before the Big Bang might give understanding into the condition of the universe before expansion began. Gravitational waves from the early universe may leave signs that could help comprehend whether the Big Bang was really the starting or whether there were astronomical occasions before that we don't yet appreciate. These waves could be follows abandoned by occasions past our standard thing knowledge. Their presence could likewise imply a more stupendous design, past the eye we are familiar with. These weak signs could open bits of information that could change our perspective, similarly as we found the Big Bang start. Imagine a scenario where they show the remnants of a past universe or an occasion that occurred before the Big Bang. As researchers continue to explore the profound scopes of space, the inquiry remains. What existed before the Big Bang? With current hypotheses highlighting quantum mechanics, multiverses, and inestimable expansion, it seems we are closer than ever to revealing the profound secrets of the universe's starting points. While the complete response remains tricky, our understanding of what existed before the Big Bang keeps growing with each new revelation. As we investigate these hypotheses, we can likewise think about how they may fit together to show the higher perspective, the real essence of presence itself. Yet up to that point, we are left with the mystery driving science, meandering into obscure spots far beyond what we have known. As we continue investigating the question of what existed before the Big Bang, Time itself becomes progressively challenging to understand. Time, as we comprehend it, started with the Big Bang, 
making the idea of previously quite perplexing. If time itself didn't exist preceding the Big Bang, can we even discuss something existing before it? A few hypotheses suggest that time probably won't have an unmistakable beginning point, and our understanding of it may be limited by the ongoing system of physical science. One of the captivating aspects of these speculations is that they open up the chance of new laws of physical science, ones that are not yet found or even possible within our current understanding. On the off chance that the universe, as we probably know it, started with the Big Bang, and previously there was a condition of nothingness or astronomical expansion, then what governs the forces and particles in that pre-Big Bang state? Might there be a hidden layer of reality that rises above time and space, where the normal laws of material science separate totally? This supernatural layer would oppose everything we figure out about the universe, but it could hold the responses to a portion of the most significant inquiries. A few specialists have hypothesized that the start of the universe probably wasn't a solitary occasion, but rather could be the result of the interaction of higher layered forces. According to string theory, for instance, the crucial building blocks of matter are not point-like particles, but maybe one-dimensional strings vibrating at various frequencies. These strings could exist in higher dimensional spaces, past the three-dimensional space we can observe. If this hypothesis holds any truth, then our universe could be simply one slice of a higher dimensional space that crosses with others, forming the multiverse. In this situation, the Big Bang could represent the crossing point of these aspects, with a continuous cycle of universes being made and obliterated in higher dimensions. Additionally, Hypotheses like the fascinating model propose that our universe might have come about because of a crash between two higher dimensional brains, layers of space-time that exist in multiple dimensions. These impacts, if they happened, could have set off a Big Bang-like event, beginning another pattern of expansion and contraction. Such models offer a structure for understanding the origins of the universe that doesn't depend on a traditional specific starting point but rather presents a situation of consistent resurrection through vast events. This thought challenges our conventional thinking about the start of the universe and opens up opportunities for how it may advance later on. There are moreover interesting associations between these cosmological speculations and philosophical inquiries concerning the nature of existence itself. If time, space, and matter have always existed in some form, does this suggest a timeless and constant reality beyond our perception? Or are we in the middle of an unending pattern of creation, development, and obliteration? Some have even suggested that the solutions to these questions lie outside the domain of science entirely and may only be fully understood through supernatural or even spiritual inquiry. This suggests that the limits of human comprehension could not simply be about mechanical advancements in physical science, but also about the profound existential nature of reality itself. In the end, while we might in all likelihood never completely answer the question of what existed prior to the Big Bang, the speculations and ideas surrounding it provide a rich woven tapestry of possibilities. As our understanding of quantum mechanics, dark energy, and cosmology continues to advance, we might inch closer to finding the real essence of existence, time, and the universe itself. Whether or not the answer is grounded in science, theory, or something completely beyond our appreciation, the mystery of what preceded the Big Bang continues to spellbind and inspire humankind's curiosity for knowledge.